Hello and welcome back to another bloody good waffle. Yes, it's that time again, that time where I get to waffle any old bullshit into the camera for your viewing pleasure. So let's start with a bit of news, shall we? Pandemonium strikes as Geppetto announces that one Elite V2 will be made available in each Asda Superstore. Ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Concerns are raised with safety issues as more and more brand new vapors head out and buy the new Aspire Atlantis and are sticking it on their cheap market store egos. <laughs> a bloody good waffles, best of the worst, hits the big time as more and more celebrities give it their best shot trying some of the funkiest juices the vaping community can offer. Oh my god. And more controversy today concerning Black Friday as riot vans are called to one particular Morrison superstore in Watford when one of the customers just went that little bit too far. These onion rings are mine. These onion rings are mine. These onion rings are mine. Mark Todd, celebrity vaping reviewer and part-time pinup, fails to provide an apology by song for the Safer Vapors Facebook group by posting an ad for a DNA 40 without permission and now must suffer the consequences. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. So some terrifying news there going off in the world that we live in today. But let's not stop us from having a bloody good waffle, shall we? So what have I got coming up for review in the forthcoming week? Well, I've got a few bits, actually. Um, one of the things I have got was sent this. This is the tan mod from Lost Vape. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I thought exactly the same thing when it landed. That looks like a fucking Axis. Well, to tell the truth, it does have some similarities to the Axis, albeit one of them being a massive similarity, and that is the font used on the front. Um, but this, the tan mod actually is quite a lot different, whereas the Axis used a TI chip and it was a uh, voltage only. This uses a yee -hee, um, chip, which is 35 watt. Um, it's also, so it's wattage, not voltage. Um, um, also got the button on the back like that. Um, it's smaller, takes 118,650. Um, you know, it is a little bit different, so I wouldn't consider it a clone. Um, it's probably inspired by. So uh, I'll be reviewing this in the week. So at least they've gone for a, uh, you know, something a bit different. It's made from ebony. I can't even say what it is. I'll get it right for the review, but it's yeah, made from ebony wood. Um, but I'll uh, talk you through all the, the details about it when I do the review in the week. But I've got the helix on the top of it right now with some of uh, Vaping King's new bean flicker. Yeah, that's right. Bean flicker. He's getting a little bit more saucy with his names, old Billy over at Vaping King, isn't he? So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you more about this when I review it. Got to love a bit of bean flicking, haven't you? Um, what else have I got coming up? Um, oh, was sent this strange contraption here. This is the Smock Guardian E-Pipe 2. You know, um, so if you like your pipes and all that and you're on a budget, this ain't a little bad. It's variable wattage. Um, it's a fucking pipe. But uh, I'll be giving this a review in the week as well. Fucking pipes. Um, I don't know. What else have I got coming up for review? I do have a few other things. I've got some Genesis atomizers coming up. Um, I've also got this here, which is probably the biggest atomizer I've ever seen in my life, and that is the El Toro here um, by Greek Vapors, I believe, um, sent to me by um, House of Juice, I think, or I'll get that right, House of Mods. Um, I'm all fucked up today. It's probably Black Friday. I'm, I should be out kicking the fuck out of people trying to get myself a spoon or something, but uh, no. So, but look at the size of that. Now, it also comes with... Um, some other bits as well um, it uses the killer um, so you can transform it from this rather large Genesis atomizer and then actually build it back down with some extra parts and put a killer in it so it's actually smaller and you can use those uh, pre-made coils but um, I haven't really gone to town checking this thing out yet but I will do but it is fucking huge I think it's about 84 mil in height from the bottom to the drip tip it is really a beast so uh, that's the El Toro so I'll be doing that in the week as well 
Um, what else have I got? I've got loads of things coming up. Oh, I'll tell you what I did get, which I won't be reviewing actually. I think there's been uh, far too many reviews of it, and that's the uh, Scrape R. I finally got myself a Scrape R. Um, great. Great atomizer, really enjoying it. Fantastic flavour, great airflow. But why the fuck they make it look like a Roman church? I really do not know. I mean, it's a, it's a hideous looking thing, and it's it's huge as well. Um, but it's a stunning vape. I'm really enjoying the vape on this. Really is nice. But why? Why so big? I know you can get a nano kit for it, but Jesus age Christ. And I've actually got. A solid silver drip tip on the top of this. Yeah, solid silver. la de fucking da. Um, yeah, that was sent to me by Unicorn Mod, my mate Luca, um, who I've just reviewed the The Mod SS4, and he did the Pegasus 22, has started doing some solid silver drip tips. And, uh, you know, they're not a bad price, really, for solid silver. These are not electroplated. They're solid bloody silver. And I think they're about 25 euros. So if you're a bit of a fucking show-off snob fuck like me, then uh, grab yourself a solid silver um, drip tip like that and... Uh, Really look the biz. It don't make it vape no better, but it's it's solid silver. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, some juice. I've been uh, vaping some really nice juice actually. I just told you about um, Vaping King's new bean flicker, which is sort of like jelly beans, pretty much, and it is like throwing a bunch of sweets in your mouth and vaping it. So, and it doesn't actually get that sickly which was the first thing I asked him when he told me about it. I went fucking vaping sweets all day, do you know what I mean? I know I'm a bit of a fat bastard, but like, still. And it doesn't. It's actually really sweet and tastes really nice. So uh, if you like vaping King's Juices, I'd recommend Bean Flicker. It's it's quite nice. But just Bean Flicker. Bean, where does he... This is a guy who needs to get laid, seriously. Bean Flicker. Everything's a bit sexual with old vaping King, isn't it, Billy? Hey, what's the matter there, son? Um, also, I've got these lovely juices here. Um, these were sent to me by my friend Powell, who's actually one of the creators of uh, Continental Mods, and uh, it's his friend's company called Truly, Va Truly Viking Juice. Sorry, um, and he sent me these three. I've got Thor, Berserker, and Odin. Now, I'm really enjoying the Thor. The Thor is really nice, which is like a vanilla pudding. And then it says it's got a little something extra in it. Um, I'm not sure what the extra is. I don't really want to ask. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice sort of dessert vape. Um, the other two I'm not too keen on. Yeah, the Berserker is sort of like an apple with cinnamon. Now, I'm not a fan of cinnamon, so uh, that's not really one for me. But if you like cinnamon and you like apple, Berserker. And Odin, which is aniseed. Fuck me, yeah, um, which I'm not too keen on um, aniseed, but if you're into those sort of juices, um, these are really nice, they've got great bottles on them, great little little nipples on the top, Ooh, it's like milking a cow, um, but yeah, they're uh, really nice juices them, and the Thor though, if you're into your desserts, I recommend the Thor, it's a really nice sort of vanilla, puddingy, spongy sort of taste, do you know what I mean? Um, what else? I've got some juices. I've got loads of juices. God, I could go on all day about juices. What else have I got? Yeah, I've got some penguin e juice here, uh, which I liked all of them actually. Um, I've got rock hopper, mamble, and a deli. I don't know what some of these things are called, but they're quite nice. Really quality juices as well. And ah, before I get Atty lube. I finally, I'll just throw this everywhere. I finally got myself and had some Atty lube, and uh, I like this one, which is the butterscotch. It can get a little bit sickly. Uh, I've been bunging this in a dripper and uh, giving it a vape, but look at the bottle on that. Hey, eh? that's fucking huge. Um, but the butterscotch, yeah, that's a uh, really nice. It's, Maybe after dinner sort of thing, do you know what I mean? I, I can't vape this for too long, even though I'm into my custards and things like that. I found this one quite thick, um, so but it's a really nice sort of, throughout the day a couple of hits of it, it's uh, really good and uh, definitely after dinner. I always love a good dessert after dinner, vaping wise, and uh, this is no exception. That's really nice. So what else has been going on? Um, I don't know, I mean... We've got all this stuff about Black Friday a day, which has absolutely been tearing through all the news, and it's uh, it's it's crazy shit, you know. It's uh, really human nature at its best. Um, it kind of does remind me of vaping, but luckily we're hidden behind a computer with vaping. It's sort of like when a list goes up, do you know what I mean? I witnessed last night um, Pal from Geppetto. He's put a list up. Um, well, it's not really a list. It's kind of like a competition. 
And his uh, post was sort of like, well, tomorrow I'm going to be giving away, uh, I'm going to be selling a, Gep a Geppetto Elite V2, but I want you to give me a number between 1 and 100. And if you get that number, that's the amount of percent I'm going to take off. So you see what I mean? If you get the right number on a random generator and it's, say, 30, you're able to buy the Elite V2 and have 30% off. But nobody reads the posts. They just see Geppetto Elite V2, sort of just bunging down numbers. You know, and this went on all night. I mean, people are on the list going, it's not till tomorrow, it's not till tomorrow. And then somebody underneath it would go like, 18. Um, it's just absolutely, it gets barbaric, doesn't it? If people are after something, it doesn't, everything goes out the window. All civility goes out the window, doesn't it? It's pretty much, fuck you, I want it. I don't care, I'm going to have it. And that's, and that's a shame. Uh, that's, I've seen some videos this morning about this, this Black Friday and people are fighting over like a pair of pants and things like that. It's just, it's human nature at its finest, but it's just absolutely mental that all these sort of different things are coming over to the UK. And I mean, we've seen it go on in America and I can imagine all the British going, <laughs> I would never behave like that. But then you throw a fucking 50% off a pair of G-strings, mate, and they're at you. They're going to go for you. So uh, it's really quite funny to watch. So... You know, if you're planning on going shopping on Black Friday, take some mouth guards, take some boxing gloves and duck, pretty much. Also, what's been going on in my life? Oh, yes. <clears throat> the wife's pregnant again. Yay! You know, I knocked her up again. I got her a bit drunk and <coughs> slipped her a hot beef injection. And uh, now we've got child number six on the way. You know, yes, I know I should get myself a TV. I do actually have a TV. But there's nothing ever good on, so uh, <clears throat> I'll just fuck instead. But yeah, uh, congratulations to the wife. Um, of course, we're not going to wish, well, we are wishing for a girl, but it's never going to happen. We're resigned to knowing that we're only ever having boys. So boy number six is due on May the 24th. Do you want to see a little scan picture? Here you go. There we are. You know, um, I also watched something funny the other, uh, the other day, and, uh, you know, the best way to sum up what it's like having these many kids. Uh, this comedian actually does some really good stand-up on it, so uh, check what this guy's thoughts are about having as many kids as, as I do. Four kids. Four kids. If you want to know what it's like to have a fourth, just imagine you're drowning, and then someone hands you a baby. Yeah, that guy is exactly right. That is what it's like. With each child you get, it is pretty much if you're drowning and somebody holds you another fucking baby. I mean, Christ alive, you know. Um, I mean, I do have a child mind out and my kids do go to after school clubs and in those times I try to squeeze in as much work as possible. But when they come home, it's pretty much like fucking troops are coming back from Afghanistan and want to go out on a piss up. It's absolutely incredible. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. People are scrapping over the telly. You know what I mean? People fucking eating everything they can, fighting over the remote control. It's just, boy, oh, it's absolute chaos. And I'm going to have another one. Do you know what I mean? I just, I'm, I'm just glutton for punishment. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Christ. I should have married an ugly bitch. Uh, I should have married an ugly bitch and maybe this wouldn't have been so bad. Um, anyway, let's, let's talk about some vaping shit. You know what I mean? Ooh. No, let's talk about some vaping shit. Um... What have I got here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I jumped on the bandwagon, okay? Now, I've been hearing more and more about this device all over the place. People praising it and going fucking mad, yeah? And that is the Aspire Atlantis. <laughs> yeah, so a clear row that uh, goes down to 0.5 ohms. I mean, let's take a little blast now. Now I'm not I'm not too keen on this. I don't I don't rate it in in the slightest, and I think it's more trouble than it's actually uh, worth. I mean, okay, we're talking about a thirty pound Clearo here that can blow some clouds, and um, I can understand the appeal to it. But for me, it kind of takes the experience out of your old cloud chasing, doesn't it? Um, and and, let, and let's not talk, let's not set about fucking not forgetting the, the safety concerns that we've got here. You know, if any vapor now can go and buy one of these out of your brick and mortar sh shop on the, the the high street, you know, and not really understand battery safety and issues like that and I mean I saw Todd with his quick look and he did put it on a little cheap ego and on one of them it worked I mean it's just a it's just a recipe for disaster and it's ugly as fuck and all 
30 quid and everyone's going, well, it's cheap and it's a way to blow clouds. Yeah, but I think it's 15 quid for five um, coils as well. So they are 45 quid. Now, for another 10 or 15 quid, you can get yourself a really good looking RDA. Um, you're going to be able to build your own coils and, and do your own sort of vaping experience whatever way you want to. But this thing, you know, I just I just don't like it. I mean, the vapes, it's a bit warm, it's a bit harsh, it's, it's the tolerances of shit on it, but... I can see the appeal for 30 quid, but I just I just don't think it's something we need. You know, all new vapors going out buying this, uh, walking around everywhere, blowing bloody clouds. I mean, you should earn that right to be able to do your cloud chasing. You should uh, learn about how to build your coils. And once you're learning and researching about your coils and that, you're also going to stumble upon the safety issues and learn about them as well. But just to be able to go and buy one off the bat, stick a coil in it and bang it on any old mod... Might be more trouble than it's worth. Game changer. More like game fucking danger. Um, but there you go, you know. Let's have another little blast. Oh, I've got some beam flicker in this, actually. Yeah. It does blow some clouds. I'll give it that. I've got this at... Well, it was 20 watts, but I'm flashing. And I'll stick on 20, 21.5. You've got an incredible amount of airflow, but it's just it was fucking horrible. Do you know what I mean? I'll drive a car through that drip tip. Um, do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. My wife could give birth through that drip tip. But there you go. There's been a few reviews of it. I mean, Shoz has done a review of it. Um, I don't know if Todd's going to do a review. He's done a quick look. Scott Bond has done a quick look. But um, it is what it is. It's a £30 clear out that you can blow some clouds through. But personally, for me, I think you should uh, work your way up to it. Learn about uh, cloud chasing. Learn about coil building. Learn about battery safety. And uh, maybe this is a little bit too much too quick for the vaping community. But that's just my opinion. Do you know what I mean? My la-di-da opinion. I think it looks like shit as well, but I'm a shallow fucker. So um, there you go. Now... I mean, it's not going to be a long one today. I have got things to do. I've got reviews to do as well. And it's been a long time since the uh, best of the worst. So uh, maybe we should get on with it. Now, I've got here... Now, I do have some crab juice somewhere in my house. Some uh, Darren Stone, good pal, sent me some crab juice. But I can't find it. It's in the house somewhere. I've been trying to sniff around the house for it all morning, but I can't find the bastard. So um, I will try and find that for next week. Um, but today, what I do have here is cheese mozzarella and it smells vile this is from freedom smoke usa world's finest e-juice not with cheese mozzarella it ain't mate um but there you go this is 18 milligrams 50 50 and oh it's it smells like pit it smells like armpit it smells like that stuff what you get around the back of your ears when you don't wash so i've been told um so let's have a little go on this now I mean, Christ, cheese, mozzarella. Now, what did I have that tasted like cheese that last... I think it was that pizza that I was sent that was a uh, really bad cheese. I mean, I love cheese. Don't get me wrong. Feta being one of my favourites, you know, that Greek cheese. But the vape cheese, you know, it's pretty much like vaping old socks. Oh, God. Now, I've got a 0 0.5. Four ohm coil on this uh, Fumo dual coil. Brand new battery in the rig. So let's give this a bloody good vaping. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. It's been a long time since I've done this. I've been watching I'm a Celebrity as well, waiting for uh, all that shit to go down. Oh, bloody leaking here, look. something in my mouth <laughs> oh, fucking smells like off e them another one breathe out your nose you suffer What 
are we? Oh, cheese should not be vaped. Cheese should not be vaped. It's sickly. I fucking swallowed some of that. It is, do you know, that this reminds me of, do you remember Dairy Lee Slices? My mum my mum used to give me Dairy Lee Slices for lunch, do you know what I mean? And I, I, I didn't eat them because they, I left them in my pocket and they used to get all smushed and squeezed. But then on the way on the bus home, I thought, fuck it, I'd, I'd have one. And you have to open up the Dairy Lee and sort of lick the tin foil. But yeah, it was all manky. That is what that tastes like. Manky squashed Dairy Lee Slice. A bit of a pissy aftertaste. <coughs> One more. It's all on my fingers. Oh, I go downstairs, you'll think I'll be wanking. <coughs> yeah, I cough. Jeez. Better wash my hands before I go down. Anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find um, the crab juice. It's in this house somewhere in my drawer. I've got fucking stacks of, <coughs> sorry, stacks of juice in my drawer. I bet it's in there. So I will find the crab juice. Um, but yeah, that's uh, cheese mozzarella from Freedom Smoke USA. So if you want to vape some fucking cheese, there you go. That's a job. Um, but yeah, quick waffle today. I just need to get back into the flow of me waffles. I've been gone uh, for quite a long time, just waffling old bullshit. I've um, been extremely busy with work. I had to finish a, another film, um, which I've edited now, called Banjo. Um, I also, I was a director of photography in that, and I was also acting in that, and had me face in full prosthetic makeup. I play some guy's imaginary friend. It's a bit like a modern, dark retelling of Drop Dead Fred but um, with lots of sort of violence and comical stuff in there as well. I actually work with Lloyd Grossman. Uh, Lloyd Grossman? Lloyd Grossman? That's the fucking... Um, they weren't Lloyd Grossman. Who would live in a house like this? I can't even remember his name. Lloyd Kaufman. Fuck me. Sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> Big fan. Um, no, and he's the uh, he's the trauma dude. Um, he does he did the, the, the Toxic Avenger and things like that. And also worked with Lawrence Harvey, and he was the actor of Human Centipede 2. You know, the, the little chubby dude who masturbates with sandpaper? Yeah, I met him. Didn't shake his hand, but a really nice guy to me, and uh, I worked with him. So I'll keep you updated when I'm allowed to release some footage of that. Um, quite a fun film to uh, to play actually, I was a bit of a, I could play sort of like this very childish sort of figment of this guy's imagination and just fucked about with him and uh, sent him a bit do lally. But full prosthetic makeup, um, bit in the sort of vein of Freddy Krueger meets Cable Guy um, sort of thing. But um, I'll, I'll show you that when I get a chance. But uh, that's it for now, um, some reviews coming this week, I've showed you a couple of the bits, I'm sure there'll be more coming in, I'm uh, on various lists at the moment for some nice lardy da stuff stuff like the Pandora box, uh, the Melody, um, even the Xylo which is a UK wooden box mod. Wood for the win! Um, so keep your eyes out for that um, and yeah and you know have a good day. Uh, if you're going out shopping like I said take the fucking riot gear with you. It is Black Friday and uh, people are fucking killing each other over uh, all sorts. Onion rings are mine. These onion rings are mine. These onion rings are mine. So, uh, yeah, be mindful, take care, and uh, most importantly, stay safe.